Keisha. Do you see this? I need that check. Right, so here we have got the final results. This is what dinner looks like. I have no shame, yes. We just had that snack like two hours ago. And I'm hungry, so fuck it. friends and welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here thank you so much for stopping by i am so glad to have you here my name is desiree thank you so much today i am filming a what i eat in a day to lose weight video now i'm not gonna play like i'm a healthy bitch like eat nutritious no that's not me i'm trying to get into that life though like the way that i usually maintain my weight in the past i'm gonna say pre-pandemic pre-pandemic life i was able to hop on diets every month or so every other month every Whenever I saw that I was starting to pack on the pounds, I would just hop on a quick diet. Um, I would get my body in shape to where I wanted it and we would move on. I would go back to eating delicious foods and whatever. That's how I would maintain my weight, my shape. That's that's how we would do it. But since the pandemic has been a thing, I can no longer just hop on a diet every other month. Like it's just not enough. And I wanna believe that it's because before the pandemic, like we had things like campus, we had things like work, not from home, where we would be able to be on our feet all day. We would be walking around, you know, campus is big as fuck. You're walking from building to building. You're constantly walking from class to class. Same with work. I was on my feet. Mm, actually, I wasn't on my feet. <laughs> I worked two desk jobs back to back. You know, getting up to go upstairs, getting up to get a drink, getting up to, you know, just stuff like that. I was constantly being active, even if it wasn't necessarily working out. We were still being more active than we are now. Now we just lay in our beds. You know, we eat, we sit, we lay in our beds. We don't necessarily go out. Like we are still and again on lockdown. This shit is getting ridiculous out here. Like check on your Canadian friends, okay? Your Canadian friends are not doing okay. I'll tell you that right now, especially if they live in Ontario, your Canadian friends are doing shit. That's neither here nor there. Point is, pre-pandemic life, that was working for me. It's not working for me anymore, so I want to change my lifestyle completely to a point where I don't have to hop on diets every other month, every so often, because I will be eating clean. I'll be living a lifestyle that's healthy. I do want to start being more active. Like I've mentioned it before, I do yoga every now and then. Like, that helps me as well, but it's just not enough to do it every now and then. I want to be really on my yoga shit every single day while I'm eating clean every single day. I want this to be a whole total life lifestyle change. I had to do quite a bit of research. I wanted to film this video last week, but I wasn't well versed enough on exactly what I wanted to do and how I wanted to incorporate certain things into my diet. I want to eat clean and I want to eat healthy, but I'm not willing to sacrifice the things that I love, the foods that I love. I love carbs. I love cheese. I love chicken. Okay. I love shrimp. Like I am not willing to give everything up. Okay. I still want to have delicious meals. So I've been looking at certain recipes. I've been looking at ways that I can make this enjoyable for myself. Okay. Like I want to be healthy, but I also don't want to starve myself. I also don't want to put myself on punishment. I want to eat good shit. Like I'm a real foodie. Like I really love food. I love, I love carbs. That's my thing. I love carbs. What we're getting into is first and foremost, calorie counting. We are going to count calories because we want to be in a calorie deficit. That means eating less calories than what your body needs to maintain its weight because we're trying to lose weight so we need to eat less calories and unfortunately that means counting calories first thing we're gonna have this morning is a cup of green tea so i'm gonna go make that tea and i'll be right back i love this tazo tea the flavor is zen so it's green tea but it's also got lemongrass and spearmint so it's got a really good flavor it's got a really good taste so you don't need honey you don't need sugar i don't think you need any lemon of course you can add those things but green tea is always great to drink on its own like don't add shit to it just drink it as is especially this one this one i'm telling you has got a really great flavor that is our pre-breakfast and while we're having this tea we're also gonna have another kind of green and then we're gonna get into some yoga all right so this is our pre-breakfast you get the vibes some green tea and some green 
you got it i did get cute for you guys a little bit now i feel i feel refreshed i feel pretty i feel just all the way ready i'm gonna do some yoga after yoga we are going to have our breakfast it is like noon right now or almost approaching noon so i mean it's kind of late for breakfast but it's whatever <laughs> that's the time that we are gonna have our breakfast okay it took a lot of hard shit just to learn how not to break down and stop, baby. No matter what I've seen in the past, I want that an impact. I'll be grown out, baby. But I can't let it slip away. I drift away. Can't go to waste. Go to waste, uh. I say it's strange. Take that your face. Won't contemplate. You got to play that, baby. I don't want to wait another minute for you. I want you got me falling from the ceiling for you. Alright, so yoga is done. Just about to have my first meal of the day. We're gonna do breakfast. I did a calorie calculation for you guys on healthline.com. So you can just Google Healthline calorie counter. You go on the website, you put in your gender, you put in your height, you put in your weight, and it'll tell you this is how many calories you need to eat per day to maintain your current weight. This is how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. And this is how many calories you need to eat to lose weight fast. So my number to lose weight fast is 11,054 calories per day. That's how many calories that I'm trying to eat per day. 11,054. I will give myself some leeway. I'm just going to put the cap at 1,200. I did put in that I live a sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary meaning like I... I'm not really active, which I'm not. I am doing yoga right now though, so maybe I should have put in that I live an active lifestyle. In which case, I think they would just add on like 200 calories, so then my cap would be like 1350 something. Yeah, I'm gonna put my personal cap at 1200 calories per day, so I'm gonna start with my first meal. We're gonna have breakfast. I'm thinking about having a big bowl of oatmeal. I'm gonna make my oatmeal and then show y'all. All right, so this is breakfast. We've got a big bowl of oatmeal. I put one pack of regular and one pack of, I think maple brown sugar. I also put a tablespoon of peanut butter. I haven't tried this before, but I figured it would be good with banana. I love that combo. Peanut butter banana tastes so good to me. That's what we got. And I've got a large orange just cut up. That's what we're gonna have for breakfast. I like a big breakfast because I'm a really big snacker. So I probably won't do lunch. So these are the vitamins that I take daily. I take these multivitamins for adults. I take these hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And these are really good. These really do work. I have seen a real difference in my hair growth. I think it grows a lot stronger. It grows without breakage. My skin is already good so i haven't seen any difference there but i also have seen that my nails do grow a lot faster so these are really really good i highly recommend and i just take these ginger flu defense vitamins you know with this little virus going around i figured this is a good vitamin to take daily as well i also take a cranberry pill daily this is just a natural cranberry pill i got it from walmart a while ago and i've got my water i just recently got this water bottle at real canadian superstore these are the vitamins that i take i take them with breakfast you gotta take all this with a meal so i take them with breakfast this is how we start our day welcome back welcome back i just woke up from a nap not too long ago after i had that oatmeal it was over for me okay i was a goner i don't know how long my nap was for but it's about 5 p.m ish right now and um i'm not really feeling hungry i'm not really feeling hungry but i do feel like i want to snack i told you guys previously that i'm a big snacker so that's kind of what i want to do right now like i just love little tidbits of food whatever i'm craving i just take a little bit of it snack on it that's what i love i love snacking right now to subdue that craving i'm gonna make a smoothie i made the same smoothie yesterday i bought some pre-packaged frozen fruits i know it's better to use actual fresh produce but i bought pre-packaged frozen fruits Fruits, okay i don't know if i want to eat a smoothie every single day so buying produce for that would have been a waste the frozen ones it's, it's got longer shelf life it's gonna be a great snack it's gonna be really filling so far i've only had my water i haven't had anything else since our breakfast it's just water i'm gonna go fill up again make that smoothie and that's that all right so here we've got our midday snack this is what we're gonna have before dinner so we've got a smoothie this is banana blueberry kiwi strawberry banana blueberry kiwi strawberry <laughs> yeah that's all i put in there 
And I'm also gonna have a bunch of grapes. So it's about that many grapes and some water. So we're just gonna have this for the remainder of time until whenever I feel hungry, hungry. When I'm hungry, hungry, I'm gonna have dinner. I do have some other snack options like some Triscuit crackers. I have some cashews. I have some toasted corn. Cashews and the corn are unsalted. I have some other fruit. Like I have snack options but these are the ones that i'm going with for right now All right folks i am back because i'm hungry <laughs> i have no shame i'm just gonna say that i have no shame yes we just had that snack like two hours ago and i'm hungry so fuck it i still have some calories remaining i've got about 350 calories remaining whatever i eat for dinner has got to be 350 calories worth the time is now 8 p.m we started eating around noon so i think that's fair for me to be hungry right now you know that's fair i think it's because i've gotten my metabolism going right so my body is kind of craving food and i don't think that that's a problem the way that i wanted to do this is i wanted to do this clean eating i wanted to be in a calorie deficit i wanted to do high protein and then i also wanted to do intermittent fasting and i wanted to do all of that at the same time but i think that's just doing way too much and i'm trying to transition into this lifestyle right so doing all of that simultaneously would have just been too fucking much like that's putting a lot of pressure on my body so we're not doing intermittent fasting for those of you that aren't familiar with what that is intermittent fasting is just um giving yourself like a window of time during the day in which you eat so a lot of people will choose eight hours of eating versus 16 hours of not eating so it's based on the 24 hour day they have an eight hour window for eating and a 16 hour window in which they don't eat there were times when i would be doing intermittent fasting and i would would do i would do the 20 to 4 window so 20 hours of not eating and i would just have four hours in which i ate but yeah we're not doing intermittent fasting so i can eat right now i can eat a little later if i want to but i'm hungry right now like i just ate a few cashews um i just had like maybe three or four cashews until i turned the bag around and i saw the calorie count like they are my favorite but they're so high in calories they're so tasty so i ate four i turned the bag around i'm like okay no maybe it's just time for me to eat dinner so yeah i'm just gonna go and make a dinner right now I definitely want something savory for dinner i definitely want some protein for dinner didn't have any didn't really have any protein today so i definitely want some some of that i'm thinking about what i have in the fridge i ate a salad yesterday i don't want to do salad today but i don't want the salad to go bad because it's like one of those pre-packaged big family-sized salads right now i'm gonna go see what i can whip up it's not gonna be anything crazy i don't want to be in the kitchen for too long so yeah i can tell you right now it's not gonna be nothing crazy and it is gonna include that salad that was my point <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the point was. Yeah, that was the point. So this is my Kishi Kayor waist eraser. It looks like mangled on me right now. I have been wearing this the entire day. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I have had that waist trainer on the whole day. Cause why not? My problem with waist training used to be that I would always forget to put it on. Like it's just something that I buy and I'm like, oh, I feel bloated today. Let me put my waist trainer on. That's usually the way that I use it. But if you use it the way that it's supposed to be used, then it might actually work. Now it's not a corset, okay? So this is not gonna squish my organs. It's not gonna squish my bones or whatever. It's not a corset. And it's not like you can't adjust how tight you put it on. It's pretty much like a sweat belt. So I bought mine a while ago, like years ago, I purchased it probably like five or six years ago and I still have it. It's really good. It's still, it's really quality material. Keisha, you see this? I need that check. Okay, girl, I fuck with you, I need that check. So yeah, those are the things that I really want to include in this new lifestyle of mine. I want to be a person that waist trains regularly. I want to be a person that does some type of exercise regularly, which is going to be yoga. And I want to be somebody that eats healthy. So for dinner, I figured I'd show you guys what I actually put together. So I'm going to have two of these. They are 110 calories each. They're like foldable flatbreads. So five grain and flax. I picked these up because I figured they were healthy. 110 calories in each one. So I'm going to have two of them. As a condiment, I'm gonna have some of this olive hummus. So good, I love hummus. And I really love olives as of late. I didn't used to like olives, but I love them now. But anyway, um, calorie count for this is 90 calories in two tablespoons. I'm only gonna have one tablespoon though. And this salad, I calculated the calories for this yesterday. Now, when it comes to counting calories, you do have to find creative ways to do the math, figure it out because it's not always gonna be accurate. Calculated, I'm gonna have about 50 calories worth of this. I'm also gonna have one hard boiled egg and that's gonna be my protein, right? So here we have got the final results. This is what dinner looks like. Again, I mentioned these flatbreads are foldable. So I'm just gonna fold these into sandwiches. It's pretty much a greek salad but wrapped in carbs like this is looks really delicious i haven't had this before but i'm about to try it and it's 
it's gonna be good i just know it now i did sprinkle some black pepper and salt over the veggies because i do not fuck with seasonless vegetables okay i do not give a shit i will pour seasonings on a salad i just need to have it it's pretty much that greek salad on some hummus on some flatbread and this is one hard boiled egg that i put on i did sprinkle a little bit of zesty italian vinaigrette onto the salad portion but yeah i'm just about to fold these up eat them i've got my water and i am going to enjoy this dinner all right so time is now mm, about 10 something enjoyed that dinner that was so good that's pretty much it for the day if i do feel like later on as time goes by because i'm gonna stay up to edit this video right now but if i do feel like i want something like later on i'm gonna have another tea maybe i'll have like a handful of nuts or i'll have a fruit or something still keep it generally healthy because like i said my personal cap ooh, my personal cap for the day is 1200 calories if i want to lose weight fast but if i still want to lose weight my cap is like 15 64 something right take it day by day like i say it's really up to you like you push yourself to whatever limit you feel is comfortable you know you don't have to force yourself to do too much too fast and like we are trying to do an easy transition like i said we don't want to make it too hard like I don't have a deadline or a goal for when I want my body to be, when I want my body to look a certain way. Like, you know, I'm not rushing it. We're going to be on lockdown for a while. Like the way we've been getting in and out of lockdowns so frequently, like I don't think I'm gonna be outside this summer. Like, I don't think there's possibility for that. Like I said, I'm just taking it easy. I'm taking it day by day. I am just keeping in mind to consciously eat healthy that's just that's just what i gotta keep in mind i thought my food today was really delicious it all tasted but good it all was healthy and it all fit within my calories so that was what i eat in a day thank you so much for tuning in if you have any questions for me leave them in the comment section below i will be sure to answer them like this video subscribe to my channel and if you like this video let me know so i can do more of this type of stuff i definitely want to get back to you guys with an update like i said i really want this to be a lifestyle change this is not a temporary thing for me this is going to be a permanent thing for me definitely leave a comment and stay tuned for my next video I got love like a charm, charm. Keep the rest in the room But you know me a storm, know me a storm. I stay flowers there all born Put the hoe like it's born. born I get higher than I was born I'm a couch if it's torn Getting money is so important Thought I was done